guys welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna do a look for today it's my ara beach cosmetics new palette so if you guys want to see what i come up with just keep on watching so here's the palette and i already did swatches it's gonna be one of my blocks but uh let me show it to you again this from here so this is what it looks like and I like that it has a mirror on it and then this is the contour and highlight pattern so we're gonna go ahead and start with our eyes right now so I'm gonna grab her little blending brush number six which I really like the color so I'm gonna go into noticed <sighs> oh god and I'm just gonna put this one all over my lid. I like my skin color kind of color, which is nice. I always like a nude color. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go into. I think I'm gonna go into pancake. And then we're just going to put this one on the crease. That's pretty clever too. Right, I'm going to go back in two moves. Do the other eye. I like how is it these shadows are to blonde. Nice. Okay. Then I'm gonna go into mousse to darken it out a little bit more. Okay. Oh, mousse is that brown color that is so pretty. And then I'm just gonna blend it out till we are happy with the end result to the other eye okay I really like mousse it's a really pretty color mm -hmm. alright I'm gonna blend it out a little bit more on this side okay so that's what the color looks like so since I got this burgundy color, I'm gonna go into Friday on top a little bit. That just came out a lot of color. And I'm gonna put it on the outer edge. God, this is a beautiful color. Okay, so we're gonna blend it out with that brown that we had. And just try to blend it as much as we can. Oh god. That color is really pigmented, really pigmented, and it's a beautiful burgundy color. I love that color actually. So let me go ahead and grab, then go into the other eye, and then try to blend this out too as much as you can. <sighs> Every time I do this, it's like a mess. And then again, you guys, I'm not a makeup artist. It's just me trying to do my makeup. <laughs> I'm just not learning. So, um, I love makeup, but I'm not a makeup artist. So, so this is one problem I have all the time it's like a one eye so if you can tell this one always has a more pigmentation than this one and i don't know if it's because like maybe for um, what happened to me like one eye it's a lower than the other one so hold on let me see if i can fix this and then just try to i don't know if that's gonna happen but Okay, so 
I'm sure I'll vote this one out a little bit more. So that one looks good. This one's the one that's freaking me out. Okay. So then I'm gonna grab number eight and I'm gonna grab I think I wanna grab Allison. We'll put it on the middle. That's so pretty. This is like a Christmas look for what I was going for. But yes, that's that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my London brush again. I'm gonna clean up the axis on a piece of paper. And then I try to blend it together here. So you guys don't have the harsh line. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the other eye. And then we're gonna do eyeliner and lashes, I think. I'm not 100% sure yet. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that out of camera and I'll be right back. So, I'm actually gonna show you the eyeliner. So, I got this on my Bliss Box. It's called Maybelline Curvy Tooth Eyeliner. And it looks like this. So, I'm gonna try to do this with, for the liner. That was easy. So now let's try the other side, which I think is going to be harder, but we'll see. Hmm, that's really easy. Um, well, that's about it. It looks funny looking because it's like in the shape of a like J or L um, but once you know how to use it and you know how to grab it it actually is really easy just to get that flicky liner in place so I'm not mad at it it's good so yeah thank you bless box for that I actually do okay. like it and I also got this one it's called lash sensational curvy tooth and I actually tried it on yesterday and I did like how I left my lashes so I'm gonna go ahead and use them today oh god I got something on my eye yeah I got it out okay sorry about that you guys um so let me go ahead and use this so I like the one how it looks like and then So one thing that I like about this lash line, like a lash, <laughs> is that it does like stuck them together and kind of like helps them separate them because of the brush. And I like that. And then it's really easy to use on the brown lashes too. But I really like it because it separates them and goes in like, you know stack them together so that's one thing I like about this and then it doesn't look them clumpy either so I like that as well like I mean I like to have my spare lashes sometimes but not all the time you know what I mean all right so that's that and then I'm gonna go back with it's my ray number seven, and I'm gonna grab the colors I grabbed to do um, the bottom lash line. 
I'm gonna use like the light colors, not so I'm gonna use pancake and mousse. Go dump that axis and I'm just gonna put it on the bottom line just to give it like a little bit of dimension on the eye. I just don't wanna do like a crazy makeup look because it has a lot of work. And then we're gonna have a Christmas party. So I just wanna look kinda like put together but not that crazy, you know what I mean? So yeah, uh, then after this, I'm um, actually, she has the powders here. So here are the powders uh, for contouring. So I'm gonna go ahead and use, let me see. This thing is so thin, so thin. Okay, so I'm gonna use, I actually need another brush for these. I'm going to grab my High Definition Brush F9 from AOA Studio. So this is what it looks like. And I like it because it has the shape already. So I'm gonna go into Mocha to contour. And I love how this brush is. So it's like a really precise contour. And then I'm gonna contour on the bottom right here and hide that double chin no problem that is then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other part of the finish highlight I'm gonna use it's my writer number five and it looks like this and I think I'm gonna use radiant looks really pretty on the palette so Oof, yes super beautiful oh my god oh, look at that mm -hmm. and that's such a nose then put it on the lip, alright, and that's that, and then I'm going to go ahead and go and contour one more time so I can wash them smoothly. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so there's that, and then I have my little wet and wild sun spray. <coughs> well, actually I have my... EUH Pro Setting Spray here as well. So let me use this one. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and go with the booty blender and just set that. So let me go ahead and see what kind of lip I want to do with this. I was thinking this. Oh, yeah, this. I think I need lip line. No, because the eyes are supposed to be there. So I have attention. So I guess I'm just going to do this. Uh, and this is my little expose. From Kylie. And I did the uh, DIY how to get the little crystals on it. So if you guys are interested in that. Mm, but yeah. I'll show you the final look. 